Hello, welcome to Animal Day Part 2. Today we're just going to be taking a deeper look um, and just looking at the fights. You should be working this in conjunction with the ground fighting tapes. Um, uh, all the moves that they'll be doing here today you'll see in the ground fighting tapes. That's volume 1 to 6. Um, as I've always said, don't, don't be a sofa fighter. Don't sit there and talk about what you would do and how you would do this and when he runs in you would do that. Go and have a go and do it. You know, reality is scruffy. That's why this stuff you're about to see is going to be very scruffy. But once you've got uh, a trained eye for this kind of thing, it'll lose the scruffiness and it's got an aesthetic look of its own. <clears throat> but uninitiated fighters, people that haven't had much experience in the real world, will, will invariably look at this and they'll be sitting next to the mate and they'll tell the mate what they would do and how they would do this and how that fighter wasn't very good and he wasn't very good. But don't talk about it, do it. Do it at your own club. Try it for yourself. As soon as you've done it once for yourself, you'll see the beauty of what we're doing here. And you'll also see the, the, um, how brave the lads are coming down to do it, because they've had a week to think about it. So it's given them time to have pre-fight uh, pre fear or anticipatory fear. Um, they're going to get adrenal dump when they come in to do the fight. They're going to get in-fight fear. They're going to have to deal with pain. Basically, this is going to be a character x-ray. They'll see who they are and they'll see what they've got. Uh, but like I say, it's dead easy to sit there and, and criticise and look at and, and say what's good and what isn't. Don't do it. Have a go and see for yourself. Okay, we're not here to uh, slag any styles off or anything else. We're just here to look for a bit of reality and to build the mental physique. So this is Animal Day Part 2, a deeper look. Um, hope you enjoy it. But more than that, I hope you learn from it. What we can do a couple of things a little bit different today. We're going to do some like sword fighting. There's nothing really else. Um, we're going to do some stuff from arguing as well. You know, one person arguing um, and then attacking when he wants and going for the animal day from there. Um, the rest of it will just be fights. There's not very many of us, so a lot of people haven't turned up. There's a couple of people that haven't done it before. I don't know if you've done it before, Tony, and, and uh, Wayne, Wayne hasn't done it before as well. So I really do appreciate coming down and I really genuinely do admire you. Because I've done thousands of animal days and I know how hard it is. So, I, you know, I really do appreciate you coming down. You, won't, you can't lose today. You can't lose. You're here, so you can't lose. So that's how you, that's what you want to be thinking straight away. You can't lose. This isn't this isn't really about fighting, this is about beating yourself. You've had all week to think about it and you've come down and done it. And in my eyes that, that takes a load of bottle. It's really difficult. Anticipatory fear, anticipatory fear is the hardest to all. And you've got a week to think about it, it's it's just it just kills you. So you know, I really admire you all for coming down. Especially Alan as well, because he's just done four hours with me. Um, so it's He's already tired, um, and it's hard when you know I'm just putting techniques on him. He's, you know, he's got to be compliant, so he's uh, just getting thrown about a bit. So that's really what I wanted to say. We've already worked. These lads that do the UFC and the lads that do all the all the full contact fighting, they can't lose as far as I'm concerned. Because anyone that can <coughs> build up for a fight for two or three weeks and then come and do it can't lose because the fight's with yourself. So this is really isn't really about gratuitousness and about having a scratch. It's a building 20 stone on the inside out and that's what you're doing here is you're, you're, you're finding out who you are and you know straight away you're solid because you've got down here so don't don't come away from it thinking i've lost the fight and lose sleep over it you can't lose you're down here just do your best try and find your own limits and push past them you'll find your limits pretty quick you'll feel like giving in a lot but don't give in just keep going because um, there's not many probably have a couple of three fights each um, and hopefully i'll have a couple of couple of decent fights as well. Um, same as before, anything goes really. We don't, we don't want any gouging because you can't really control gouging. And we bite in, bite and release. Okay, so we're not biting to, to, to draw blood or to sever. You're just looking for a good release. And it's accepted that after the fight, if you've got a bite on, then that would have been, you would have severed someone's ear or whatever, you know. But we're not going to actually do that. When it comes to the floor, we'll pull the gloves off and go for open hand strikes. But don't neglect the strikes. Because you can't use knuckles, don't neglect it. Go for open, open hand stuff. The only reason you're not using knuckles is because it puts everybody up. Um, and it's too much in the controlled environment. You literally start losing teeth and you're getting stitches and all the rest of it. So we're just restricting it a little bit. Um, the chokes, the strangles, everything out straight on. If they tap, really straight away. But try not to tap unless you're out of the tap. Don't, you know, this, this arena is a match fight arena. Don't think you have to go to grappling. Grappling is the last place you want to be. I know that we all like to grapple, but really, you know, if this is a real situation outside, you want to be finishing from a vertical position. But that doesn't mean you go out and agree to have a match fight and, and don't go to ground. But it, it means try and finish someone from the vertical position. 
But having said that, you know, we've got someone who's out punching. The dentist found the punching taken to the floor because we are working in, working for match fighting. Um, so, you know, if someone's out punching me, I don't want to be boxing a boxer, I'll go to the floor. But like I say, don't feel like you have to clash automatically. Go for us, go for punching, the kicking, for elbowing, everything you can. But having said that, like a lot of people that will be watching will be thinking, I could get a boxer, I could get a kicking. <laughs> we all know when, when, reality, when reality comes to the floor, everything changes. Sometimes in a real situation you're so scared you get your feet up off the floor, let alone hitting them. So, you know, this is what we're trying to bring down, a bit of reality. But again, thanks very much for coming down. I really do admire you all. Um, I deeply appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, just have a warm up and get those. I just said, Well, just to keep going, get the face on. Come on, mate. Yeah. Nice to move on. Go on, Justin. Don't move, mate. Keep going. Keep going, Adam. Keep going, Justin. Just keep walking keep forward, you want. Keep walking forward, you think? That's it, keep walking forward, you want to get him over. Yeah, all good. Hey, you want to have a look? Hey, hey, you know. Go on, have a look. Go ahead.
It's there, I'll tell you. Fine, I'll learn. Come on, get your other arm through there. Oh, put his head down. Put his head down. Come on, let me get your. Oh, there you go. It's amazing. Sit down here. Sit down here. Get your other arm through there. Come on, you're straight. Don't rush there, dude. Keep going. Come on, Lee. 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 Come on,
So if you knock him to the floor, you don't dive on someone on the floor. But having said that, you were good on the floor as well. But if you knock someone to the floor, don't follow them down, you yeah. know, it's sacrilege, so. Yeah. You tend to want to get down there and do it, I know it's Still at the beginning, you've got to get out of the habit of wanting to go to the floor. Thank you. You want to go to the floor when someone's out of the floor, you can But that was a good display of earth and fighting. But it's still on the floor as well, I'll do it again with that. Okay, it does. Come on, Alex. Face out, Alex. No, no. Try and mount him, Alex. Alex, try and mount him. Try and mount him. Alex, go for the mount. Come on. And tie his legs off. Oh, it's there now. Come on, Justin. Nip it. Bite him a bit. Come on. Bite him. Pull the arm off your throat. Just pull it off your throat. Get your head underneath the uh, the lock. You can get out then. You're nicked, you're nicked. Got your bars up, Alec. Come on, just do it. Bars up, bars up, Alec. Try and get over onto your right side, just if you can. That's it, that's it. Try and get over to your right side. Well done. Come on, just. Well, 
Okay, switch gloves. Okay, go. Now get the left arm now. 
so much from a match fight but from an argument and the person who's arguing is going to have the initiative all right so if you're arguing with him don't want you moving around just arguing don't even push or anything you're just arguing whenever you want to attack you attack don't know that. Yeah, this, this is to get you used to naked aggression because mostly in most fights there's naked aggression before there's an argument it's a three second fight if it goes beyond three seconds it becomes a match fight so this is to get people used to naked aggression. Um, he's going to be aggressive and he's going to attack when he wants to attack. You've got, uh, you can have a little bit of a mess, but don't, you know, keep the distance there. You know, keep it as it would be about here. Because you wouldn't have that range. You'd yeah. have about this range. If you want to keep that there, you attack whenever you want, with whatever you want. Um, and again, we're going for knockout or submission. Um, so we're starting from that, okay? So just touch gloves. When you're ready. Okay, so what's your problem? Well, you're Don't look for a good issue, Jim, just wait. Go 
yourself out. Well, think out, think. Oh, 
Animal Day Part 2, it's a deeper look, basically it's just all the fights, but going from different scenarios, you may have noticed as well that we left bags up, uh, we left utensils in the way, in a real fight you can't choose your environment and there will always be things in the way, so we've deliberately left things in the way, sometimes we'll put chairs and tables there and make it, as, um, make it like a real environment, other times we'll dress people up in heavy co uh, coats, boots, all that kind of thing, so we're trying to make it as realistic as we can. Now, if you look at the ground fighting videos and then tie it in with the animal day videos, you'll see all the moves, the fighting from your knees, fighting from your back, from upper forequarter, from scarfold, from side forequarter, moving in the fan, everything is in the ground fighting videos. So, um, you know, refer back to them videos and per uh, perfect the techniques off there. Um, the, I don't know whether you appreciate it or not, but it takes an awful lot of bottle to come and do an animal day. It takes a lot of guts. Um, and what I think is if you want to pressure test what you've got, if you want to build up mentally, try out your own club, try it under supervision, and make sure there's restrictions, obviously, so that people don't get ears bit off and things. But it's a way of giving you a character x-ray and, and also a style x-ray. It'll let you see whether what you've got is going to work for you. But more importantly, this is also a good arena to get rid of any kind of unutilised adrenaline from, um, you know, from a society where there's lots of intangible confrontations. Um, so rather than take it out on your family um, and, and having rows with your loved ones, you can actually get rid of your aggression here. Um, like I say, a lot of the fights, some of the fights were very long and it might be awkward to see what, how they finished the fights, but if you look at the ground fighting videos, you'll see all the, all the finishes that we've done, they'll all be on there and you'll see why, uh, how they finished, even though it, it isn't always that clear. So again, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you've learned something from it. We've basically done Animal Day so that, in, in a way, so that you don't have to, so that you can look at it and learn from, learn the realities of it. 
Um, if you're honest with yourself, it will help. Thanks very much again for listening. Thank you.